the boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly. Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. Um, so somebody was asking me about a video I did a while back about normals in uh, Character Creator, and they weren't getting enough definition on their older character. I guess they were trying to get definition on the uh, face. And they were saying, well, should I, you know, take the normal and intensify a draw on it or perhaps take the whole character into ZBrush? So what I was saying is to him, to that person, and they were talking about the name. I almost started to point to my screen, but that isn't, you're not going to be able to see me pointing. They were talking about the nasal creases in particular here. I, I guess this is the, the crease from the base, the tip of the nose, uh, nostrils, into the chin. So I just wanted to show you this. this is very, very quick. It's real simple. They're, these are nasal controls from this morph package. There's a Real Illusion sells this, I think it's called 1000 plus uh, morphs uh, that should really be in everybody's toolkit because it has everything you need to do everything. So um, for example here, if we, and the other thing I was going to show you too is how you can reapply this over and over. So you can see this, I think you can see it off to this side here. You can see the depth is controlled by this slider here that's going inward. You might say, but Mike, that's not enough. Well, you can also bake this and then you can keep increasing that. So you can keep doing it over and over again. See how that's baking in further on there, bake. And then I just go again and bake and again. And so eventually you keep baking it until you get the desired uh, look that you want. And once that's baked in, then that's, that's your character. So that's essentially how you reapply Morris. Now, sometimes on these things, you can put, you can type in other numbers here. So for example, I might be able to type in 200. Yeah, so you can do that too. So just because the slider only goes as far as that doesn't mean that you can't uh, just type in a number, but sometimes you can't type in the number you want. So for example, this, this is the width thing here. It, it, let's say I wanted to type in, say, I don't know, maybe 500. Well, that actually works. <laughs> I don't know. But if you can't type in the number you want, again, bake, rinse, and repeat. And then eventually you end up with whatever morphs you want. So that's essentially that. By the way, that was the right hand side. There's a right and a left, which is why it, uh, it, why it did it on the, so obscenely on this guy's side. But I think if you, if you have this package of a thousand morphs and you do the baking or you put in the number that you want specifically on that morph, and that works for, for all these a thousand morphs. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on these morphs that uh, that's worth seeing see the shoulder scales uh honestly if you have character creator 3 i don't know why you wouldn't buy this package because it's uh, again you can type in numbers if you want to get a, a bigger thing other than the scale okay and again baking and then repeating it can allow you to do whatever you want that's completely obscene okay so hopefully that answers that question and we will see you around on the forums